Have you ever wondered which file transfer method is faster on Android mobiles? Is it quick share or nearby share? I had the same doubt until I tested it myself. And trust me, the results shocked me. In this video, I'm transferring a 2.5 GB file between two Samsung phones using Samsung quick share and then transferring the same file from a Samsung phone to a non Samsung phone using nearby share. Let's see how long each method takes. Let the battle begin. First, let's start with the quick share. You can see the timer on the screen. The connection process is seamless. Just turn on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi or simply enable quick share and it automatically takes care of the rest. Quick share just took 32 seconds. That's pretty impressive. But wait, when I checked the received file on the other phone, I noticed something weird. It showed 2.69 GB instead of 2.50 GB. I have no idea why this happened. If you know the reason, drop a comment below. Now let's try nearby share, transferring the same file from a Samsung phone to a non Samsung phone. Again, the connection process is super simple and quick. This time it took just 29 seconds, slightly faster than quick share. I also tested with other file sizes and nearby share was consistently a bit faster than quick share, but the difference was just a few seconds. So the clear winner here is nearby share, but both methods are super fast and reliable. I also did some research online and I found that several factors can impact file transfer speeds such as number one file size, number two network conditions, number three device visibility settings, number four background apps running, number five storage speeds of both devices and many more. Keep these things in mind while transferring files. That's it for this video guys. If you found this test helpful, hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for instant notifications. See you in the next video.